Okay. Separation. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, introduce yourself as a bass player. Zach Fernstrom. Colton Douglas. Colton? Colton, yeah. Colton. Nick on vocals and guitar. Nick? Nick doesn't have a last name? Nick Carrier. <laughs> Nick Carrier. <laughs> Colton Baker. Guitar. Colton Baker? There are two Coltons in the band? Yep. yep. All right. Bacon Douglas. <laughs> okay, so what's the song you're going to do? Separation. <laughs> Separation, all right. Go for it. I got Jason Ryle. He's uh, one of the voices on the radio station. He's the one that just come booming through everybody there. Oh, he's the one that got that voice of the golden bird right here on GamerRadio.com. <laughs> How you doing, Jason? I'm doing great. Thanks, guys. There you go. Good to be with you. Yeah, so uh, you are the president of the Chamber of Commerce in town? I am, yeah. I am the president for the williams Lincoln District Chamber of Commerce. That's our official title. Okay. And you guys are here today on what capacity? Well, we're here today because uh, with a, a couple of different goals in mind, the biggest and probably most high profile, I guess, if you want to call it that, is our community barbecue. We realize that there's a sense of division in the communities as far as people who are for the prosperity mine and people who are against it. And we don't care what side you're on. We want you to make the most educated decision as possible. And because we recognize that there's that division in the community, we just wanted to hold this community barbecue, bring people together, and just celebrate the fact that the process is moving forward. Finally. Finally, yeah, you exactly. Know, it's, been a, it's been a long, long pull for uh, for Tosico Mine to get to this point. It's been it's been insanely long. Yeah. I I got to give Tosico credit for the the patience and their uh, their uh, uh, their persistence in the project. It's obviously something they believe in. It's a project they've been working on for the last 15 years. It, exactly, and it, it, it's a big project, and it's going to last a long time. And it's going to create uh, jobs that are going to sustain a family. Yep, absolutely. So there's a lot of upsides to it, and they've gone, they've they've gone, and they've done all their research, everything they could possibly do to make everybody happy. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I think when it comes to industry projects, uh, no matter what industry you're you're in, like if it's uh, uh, resource development, if it's uh, natural gas, if it's LNG, if it's oil, whatever it is, um, Tosico has gone above and beyond any kind of expectation that any other industry project that I've ever heard of yep. has had to go through. They, they've been, they're under the microscope. Totally, and, and, and that's the way today's world is. And in a way, it's a good thing. Absolutely. But, you know, it does drag these things out uh, a little long sometimes when, uh, you know, our economy is hurting, hurting pretty bad, especially in Williams Lake area. Well, yeah, and, uh, you know, it affects not only Williams Lake, but 100 Mile, um, Quinnell, McLeese Lake, Horsefly, everywhere. everywhere. Um, you know, we're looking for opportunities to keep people here. Um, yeah, it's all great that we want to try and attract young professionals to come and move and live in our area, but there has to be jobs for them to, to move here to. Absolutely. And without an opportunity like this, I can't see another project of this scale at all. No. And, uh, and you know, Tosico takes pride a lot in actually training uh, tradespeople as well, helping with the training of tradespeople. Well. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I mean, there's there's so much positive in this project, um, it's hard to you know, even look at the negative aspect, of whatever that might be right now at this point, I don't know. I am eternally the optimist, and uh, I a lot of people would say to a fault, um, but I'm optimistic that this uh, proposal is sound and it's going to it's going to be accepted. I, I certainly hope so. You Me know, too. I mean, I, I have six kids. I know you have uh, children as uh, well. Yeah, I got two boys, yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe they might not work in a mine, but they might work in a job that spins off from a mining in general. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, yep. that, and that's, you know, we, we hate to see our kids leaving town. That's exactly right. Exactly. You know, and, and, you know, I'm going to sort of focus on that point a little bit, Rob. It's keeping those people here in our communities, and that applies for out west in the Chilcotin. Yeah, or, absolutely. Um, you know, if people are leaving your communities, that's how you leave, you lose your culture. Totally. And so if you want to keep and retain your culture and see it grow, you need to have a reason for people to stay. Exactly. A sense of community. Absolutely. And uh, that's something we need to stick to in, in today's world uh, with all the distractions 
that we have in our lives. So yeah, definitely. Well, Jason, I appreciate you talking to us hey, here anytime. on Tim Radio. And uh, yeah, we'll be talking a little more after this too as well. Great. I'll so are you talking today in the meeting? I'm not talking today. Okay. I'm scheduled to present on Wednesday. Okay. So I better get working on my presentation. Okay. <laughs> Thanks again, Jay. Thanks a lot, Rob. Okay, back to you, Glenn. Right on, Rob. Thanks a lot for all the updates, man. Uh, incredible. You're a busy, busy guy, man. <laughs> it's been a whirlwind weekend, and it just keeps going. I guess so. Uh, <laughs> you know how we'll take the rest of the weekend. That's right. Your band again? <laughs> Beautifully haunting, and we're from 150 Mile. Cool.